What's up guys, it's your boy the May Boom and I am back for another video, man. Attack on Titans, man. I was looking at the Survey Corps people, all the characters in the Survey Corps. They just did such a great job with all the characters. And then I was thinking about Sasha's death and like man, can anybody replace her? Like death and it still feels the same way. And I went through each Survey Corps member and Aaron, for example, can't do it. He's the main he's like the top main character, he can't do it. It would have been sad, but he can't do it. Mikasa can't do it. She's also the main character. Her storyline with Aaron isn't up yet. Armin, her story, his storyline with uh, Aaron isn't up yet. You got Levi can't do it because his storyline with the Zeke is still going on. Hanji maybe could have did it, but still, she's still like a big leader. She still got to do stuff. And you got a uh, John. He could have been the person. I feel like he could have been impressed because he ain't, he ain't really have anything going on. You got Coney and uh, so this is where I'm about to get to my point though. Coney man is the worst Survey Corp member man. He just all the rest of them are just so cool and have moments. Annie also like man those fights that Annie had in season one and all that stuff she was doing in season one so cool. Reiner the stuff he his character storyline arc. Uh, Berto, his storyline with him being like, uh, he didn't want to stick up for himself, and at the end he figures it out, and it, it's like, man, like Coney is just the funny guy, and then like it feels like John, Coney, and Sasha are basically in that little circle. It's like, man, all three of them could have just been replaced. They could all like been Coney could have been the one that got shot by Gabby, or could have been John that got got shot by Gabby. So. Let's just get into Coney, man. Let's talk about season one, Coney. From what I remember, season one, Coney was in the Survey Corps, and he really didn't do anything. He was just a funny, silly guy. He was bald, and he was just trained in Survey Corps. They trained and used their ODM gear, and I didn't notice him really. I just like, okay, yeah, this guy's, I guess he's kind of okay. And him and Sasha would, like, act goofy and stuff. And that was kind of the end of it. I don't remember him being part of the female Titan part. I don't remember him being part of, like, the anything else, man. I, I don't remember him being really a part of anything. That's just kind of sad. But then at least to season two. Now, season two, this is where he sort of gets more time to shine. They, they put Reiner and Coney and Scott. Sasha and Ymir and Historia in this little place and they gotta wait till uh wait till people arrive to save them and they are just walking around and trying to run away from Titans and they run in the forest and stuff and they give Coney the storyline where he goes to the village and the, his family is turned into Titans and stuff and I'm like, okay, I guess that that's kind of messed up. Like, his mom turned to a Titan. It's like, I really don't care about Coney, though. But his mom turned to a Titan. That is pretty messed up. That, that's sad. So, then it doesn't make him angry or anything. It, it doesn't really make him do anything. He just He still is angry. He just kind of just still the same Coney. So, then you get the scene where they're on that tower. And Ymir turns into a Titan. And... Coney's just there. He's just standing around, not doing anything, and didn't do anything epic. And then you got the Reiner scene where he turns on the Survey Corps, and Coney was like knocked out the whole time. And then he wakes up. He's like, "Where's Reiner?" And and what's his name? Berto. And I'm like, "What? What are you talking about, man?" He like fell over the wall or something, and didn't or got knocked out at that moment. And yeah, then he figures it out. It's sad, and then he goes talk to him like, "Why did y'all do that? Y'all are friends." And I'm like, "Okay, Connie, just just beat him up, man. What are you doing?" And then that's the end of season two. He was saying he was gonna figure out what what's wrong with them, and that never happens. He just tries to fight them. He didn't even try to try to talk to them anymore. So season three, the part where. You got Historia get captured by her family and about to get turned into a Titan. 
Coney actually fights a little bit, he gets some kills, and fights the the, the uh, Ackerman squad. He fights the Ackerman squad, the Kenny's group, and kills a few of them. He does his thing. Still trash. He didn't kill enough people. He ain't he ain't standing up like as one of the best ones. I was Levi, but he doesn't do anything, man. Coney just doesn't do anything and still making jokes. Still making jokes with Sasha and stuff. And I guess that's a, the the comedy relief of the show. So yes, then they beat Kenny, get out of there. They then save Aaron, save Historia, then they fight Reiner and Bortol again, and this fight, they can't really remember what happened, I, I can't remember what Coney was doing in the fight, I remember that they was on Aaron's back the whole time, because Bortol turned to a Colossal Titan, so they kind of just stayed around Aaron the whole time, and then you had, you had Aaron and Armin beat, you had Aaron and Armin beat Berto, and then you had Coney, Sasha, John, and Mikasa take out Reiner, and Coney did help, I think, doing that, I, I I remember that happening, and I think he just gets Sasha, he, like, because Sasha gets her, he has to take care of her, and then Mikasa takes care of Reiner, I think that's the end of that fight, so, that's the end of uh, Coney's part right there, and I think that's the end of season three, he doesn't really show anything else, the decision scene, uh, he ain't really a part of it, I don't remember him talking at all, and saying anything crazy, but, yes, that's Coney in season three, then we get to season four, season four, Coney's a little bit older, he's like, okay, Coney's a little bit cooler, now he got the, he grew his hair out a little bit, and I'm like, okay, Coney's cool, then you get the airship scene where, uh, Sasha, Coney, and John are in the airship, and, then Gabby shoots Sasha. Could have been Coney, but nobody would have cared if it was Coney. Then Coney's like, wake up, Sasha, wake up. And she's dead. And this is where you get this stupid storyline where Coney's talking crazy about like not liking Aaron and stuff because he was laughing at Sasha's death. What you gonna do? What are you gonna do to Aaron? Like, don't even play like that. You're not one of them. You're not one of those guys. So that made me laugh the whole time. I don't take Coney seriously about that. And then the whole season, he's just talking about Aaron. And, oh, man, Aaron, he he turned his back on Sasha. He's not making the right decision. And he didn't do anything right. So then you get the attack on... You get the attack on um, Paradise Island. And Coney's not really doing anything. He's just running around because uh he's been in jail. Because I think uh, Flock puts him in jail. Didn't do anything. And then he gets out. Goes that helps the team take out Colossal Titan Aaron, the final form Aaron, and he actually doesn't do anything in the fight either. He actually gets hurt. He almost gets hurt, and then Levi has to save him from the Titans in the Colossal Titan fight, and he just gets saved the whole time, and that that's Coney's role in the show. He doesn't do anything, man. He never had that breakout role. He never looks, like, really cool doing stuff, and I'm just disappointed in Coney, man. I wish... He had more to do. I wish he would have had a better storyline. Then his mom, we forget about his mom turning into a Titan. And Aaron, he saves his mom. But it's like, oh, okay. Coney didn't even have to do anything to save his mom. And that was just Aaron's thing. That was Aaron's thing. He saved his mom. So, at least Coney had a good ending. He didn't die. And I don't think if he died, anybody would have cared. They could have did a way better job with Aaron. Everybody, how did all the other survey corps, they feel so much better than him. He's the worst one by far. Maybe Bertolt's worse than him, but he is up there, man. He's not funny. Sasha, at least, was kind of funny. John was had a storyline. I feel like he grew because he went from the coward to the strong guy. And Sasha was like the funny, happy person. And Coney, this was just stupid funny. I'm like, I don't care about you. You can't have two funny people. Sasha's the funny person, and you can't be the second funny person. I'm sorry. That's just how it works. But tell me how y'all feel about it. Do you like Coney? Do you think I'm being too harsh, or do you think I'm right? Coney's just a stupid character, and he just, I don't really like him like that, man. Tell me his storyline if you know his storyline, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Anime Boom Out, peace. Thank you.